This is Rigidink's ASA, which is a polymer you might not necessarily know about, but essentially it's a UV resistant automotive replacement for ABS. And really, unless you'd put them side by side, you'd be hard pressed to tell a difference between a part printed from ABS and one from ASA. Rigid Ink's filament comes in at a mid-range 39 euros per kilogram, and the temperatures I chose to print it at were 245 degrees Celsius and 255 degrees Celsius on the nozzle and 100 degrees on the bed. For ASA, a low part cooling fan setting is recommended, so I used a fixed 20% speed there. And print quality is actually insanely good. The 3D Benchy gets full marks, but so do the fine details tests for practically zero stringing as well as overhangs which tend to come out as a total mess with ABS, but printed perfectly with ASA. Bridges showed the usual drooping at the two most challenging areas and get 4 points, making for a near perfect 19 out of 20 overall score. This is objectively the nicest printing material I've had in the Philbin series yet. While ASA is a very rigid material, strength, when printed unenclosed at 245 degrees Celsius, was mediocre, and while using an enclosure did not improve strength, it did fix layer cracking. Bumping the print temperature to 255 degrees Celsius allowed ASA to score a respectable combined score of 44.5 kg, and retains a much higher print quality at the higher temperatures compared to most ABS filaments. Temperature resistance is about equal to them. So in conclusion, if you need a reliable material that has ABS-like properties or simply one with a great print quality, it's definitely worth taking a look at Rigidink's ASA. 